In this mobile how-to video, I'm going to show you the basics of browsing the internet on the Sony Xperia M2. So without further ado, let's load up the Google Chrome application on the M2. Now it's taken me to my homepage, which is google.co.uk. Now every single browser has at the very top a address bar. I can go ahead, tap that address bar, type in any website that I'd like to go to. Let's go to my number one trusted mobile phone retailer, clove.co.uk. So I type in clove.co.uk, I tap go, and it's gonna take me to Clove's website. Now you can see it's taken me to m.clove.co.uk, which is the mobile version of Clove's website. Now just like a standard desktop or laptop computer, you can have multiple tabs. And you can do that just by tapping this square, which says number one, right next to the address bar. By doing that, I can go ahead and add another tab just by tapping above that where it says new tab. So now I have two tabs open and I'm in the second tab. You can see that there's two tabs because where I said where it says number one, it now says number two. So if I tap that, you can view both tabs. To close a tab, go and tap the X in the corner of the tab. Now I'm gonna just click the tab that I want to get back to and continue showing you around the internet browser. In the top right hand corner is three boxes. By tapping that, I get a variety of options. I can create a new tab, a new incognito tab. I can view bookmarks, have a look at recent tabs, view my search history, share a web page on a social media site, find certain word in a page, Add it to the home screen, which is fantastic for quick launching a website. If you visit it, you know, maybe a couple of times a day, you want it saved to your home screen. I can requ request the desktop site, or I can view settings. It really is easy to browse the web on the Sony Xperia M2. And that was done using the Google Chrome application on the Sony Xperia M2.